Welcome to Camper Trailer of the Year 2021, brought to you by the power of Red Ark. 52 years young, Cub is one of the pioneers of camper trailers, and they have reinvented probably the original in the Drifter. So Kath, it's really interesting what's happening in the world post-COVID. So Cub have always been known as a premier product, there's no questioning that. But they're saying to us that this new Drifter is bringing in a whole new buyer into the market. Quite a sophisticated professional type person who might be new to camping, and they're drawn to the quality. What were your overall thoughts of it? Well, this one's quality top to toe, Tim. They've thrown the whole box and dice at this one. We've got blue scope steel underneath. We've got Hammertone Durigal paint chassis, wax converters canvas, Red Arc, Red Vision in here. And underneath, when you look at the way that they've put this together, it was one of the cleanest campers that we saw. There's some real attention to detail. That is... Yeah, that's seriously The, the well best done. cable routing I've seen for a long time. So you're paying a premier price, but this is a premier product. It's so neat, isn't it? The yeah. wiring and everything. It's, it's impeccable underneath. No snap lock fittings, all quality metal joiners between any hosing, and everything was tucked away or run in its own metal encasing. So I was really impressed with the build quality. What about its off-road ability, DC? This has got everything you could need. When we towed it around, it behaved perfectly behind the Prado we were towing it with. Got plenty of ground clearance. I reckon we're looking at about a clearance of 470, I reckon, at its lowest point. Its own well-proven running arm suspension, the cover been manufacturing for a few years. This is a complete break with Cub's usual policies. Cub's been a manufacturer of these middle of the road, workmanlike, competent camper trailers. We jumped to $71,000 with this. It's allowed them to uh, develop a really competent and unique camper trailer. It's one thing to say we can throw the kitchen sink at it in terms of fittings and finishes, but it still has to be comfortable. This is the best laid out, best designed forward fold style of camper that I think I've ever seen. It has very high sides, which means you get high seating inside, so you're not sitting with your knees tucked up under your chin. That gives you extra storage under the seats, extra room around the table inside, which is just this neat little pop-up table. You don't have to assemble out legs and assemble this thing like a Meccano set. There's a button under the table, and then it just pops up. And then you can move it wherever you want it. Nice, big, roomy beds. It all goes together so well. Very easy setup. I, I was really impressed with that. Yeah, so you, you don't have to tension any of the poles. It's one of the things Cub prides itself on. They preset them all. So when you arrive at camp, you just have to open it up, tie down the edges, so all the bungee cords, and then you're ready to go. As far as X Factor, I thought the way the, the rear bed folded down and instead of uses poles to keep it up, this one uses straps. Okay, Kath, you were looking at uh, self-sufficiency. As I said, lovely camper. How did you find that aspect of it? You know, this one's offering 180 litres of water. We've got two hot water system in there. We've got 2,000 watt red, arc, red vision, a couple of four litre gas bottles. I was expecting to see some sort of solar arrangement there. It is optional. That, that would be a really nice addition as well. So, Glenn, we are looking at a premier price here for a, a really well put together product. What was your thought about value for money? Well, I have to agree with you with the solar. I think that that's one important thing they could have added, considering you're spending you know, over $70,000 a camper, but I think being Australian made and the quality uh, of the fittings and the fixtures, then for those that are looking at that higher spec, then this is the camper for them. Now this is what you call a luxury camping. Actual leather on the seats. This, is, this whole camper is a, this is a reinvention of the Cub, the Cub brand. 